the simplest things And nothing really goes unplanned Nothing's really happenstance When it comes to me I can see you in the ordinary places I hear you in the little conversations You give a meaning when there ain't none So I want you in my routine, typical mundane everyday things. Mm -hmm. Cause I know you make miracles every second and every minute. I want you in it, doing what only you do. Ooh, with every moment, just know you want it in every day. I know you're intentional about me mm -hmm. You're so good It's too much to mention But when I pay attention I see you make miracles Every second And every minute I want you That's the first time I've sung it for anybody. Just trying to practice. So check this out. What's up, y'all? Hey, how y'all doing? What's going on? Who up in here? Who in here? Show yourself. I saw my, my little brother, Justin. What's up, man? I saw Parker. I appreciate you, man. Check this out. I got a lot of good news. I got a lot of good news. Okay. First of all, God is good. He's yet real and loves us all. Despite our mistakes, despite our unbelief sometimes, he loves us. That's the first good news. Number two, we are alive. And as my brother Rich Tobo would say, I'm alive. I'm alive. And this is not an accident. I'm alive because there's more. That's number two. Number three, I got a new album coming. I'm really excited, okay? And it's not even like coming like, you know, in April or May, or like down the line or this year. It's like coming out really soon. The 17th, my new album, My Truth, is coming out. And that's going to be crazy. It's really, everybody that's heard it so far is saying it's one of my best albums. Now, I don't pick children. I like Make Room for a reason. I like People for a reason. I like Life Music 1 for a reason. Life Music 2 for a reason. But uh, the label, everybody I've let listen to it, they're like, yo, this is giving us, this is giving us great album vibes. Best album vibes. And I can't wait to give it to you guys it's it's more mature the way i'm thinking about life now is different i just can't wait for y'all to hear it um right now if you go pre-order it uh you get detail which is what i was just trying to sing just now that's the first time i even ever tried it like you gotta understand you know we record the music uh you know we track the music and that that process could start a year before you guys even hear it and then after it starts to come out, we have to kind of go back and try to figure out that song again, try to remember it again. And so, you know, I can't wait for you guys uh, to, to hear me live. But in the meantime, I need y'all to learn the song. We got two songs out now for this new album, and it's Detail and, of course, Your World. I'm really excited. Thank y'all for helping me make Your World number one on the radio for five weeks. Uh, that doesn't happen too often anymore. So thank y'all for helping me out with that staying power. This is your world. I'm just living in it. I'm just walking through it. That's not the right key, but you know what I'm saying. 
It's actually the whole other side of the keyboard, whole tritone off. But either way, it's okay. But um, I love y'all, and I just really wanted to let y'all know. I just was here. Uh, I haven't been on live in a minute, man. I don't even know how to do this anymore. I've been trying to rest, and that's out of key. I've been trying to rest and um, get ready for this next album cycle because we're about to hit it hard, man. Pause. We're about to hit it hard, and um, we're going to. I uh, got an album going to be kind of flying around the country for the next couple of weeks. Tell everybody about this album. Then, you know, you know, tour is going to come uh, at some point as well. You know, we'll, we'll do official announcements at some point. But, man, I just want to tell you I love y'all, man. Detail is out. If you go uh, right now and pre-order um, I uh, on iTunes, if you go pre-order the album, or if you go to Apple Music and, and look up the album, you'll see that detail in your world. The first two tracks of this new album are out. I can't wait for y'all to hear it. I can't wait for y'all to hear Bishop Marvin Winans, that song. I can't y'all can't can't wait for y'all to hear um, <clears throat> Chandler on our song. I can't wait for y'all to hear My Truth. That's the title track of the album. There's a lot of stuff, man. I can't wait for y'all to hear. Got some Afrobeat stuff going on. It's just it's fun, and it's all over the place, as usual musically, but lyrically, you know, there's always a meaning, and it's all about my truth. It's all about you know, I'm watching y'all kind of go in on people about, you know, the Grammys and who should be there, who shouldn't be there and what symbolism is happening there and whatever. And, you know, we want to we want to preach. We want to stand on our soapbox and we want to talk and we want to express our thoughts and our opinions about things um, so much so. And especially when you are, you know, in, in kind of a position of public ministry or whatever you you want to tell you want to talk you want to tell everybody about god you want to tell everybody about the bible and what you think about it and 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 how you think about it and all this other stuff and everybody just everybody's a past pastor at this point everybody's a preacher everybody has something to say um but for me just for me i ain't gonna blame blame or, or or i ain't gonna judge anybody for me i've been doing this for now a decade and everything that god gave me I found a way to give it to you guys. But at some point, you got to stop. And you got to go back to the basics of who you are and your truth. But skip telling everybody about it. Skip if you're going to get any likes about it. Skip if, if you can put it in 30 seconds or less or 90 seconds or less so it's a good reel. If you could just go back to the basics of your truth. We so we can get so far away from that because everything is how can I post it? When can I post it? What time should I post it? What about just you? What about just you, your salvation that you're supposed to be working out in fear and trembling by yourself? What about that? Of course, we're here to evangelize. Of course, we're here to witness. But I think we get there so fast that we forget to just absorb this stuff for ourselves. Establish it for ourselves. What's my truth? Not the one that I know you guys can understand, not the one that won't divide too much, or not the one that will stand up for justice enough because that's the trending topic today. Not the one that sounds good, but what's just my truth? Like, what have I seen? What have I noticed? How has God picked me up? How has he let me down? What do I think is true? And I don't think we take enough time on that type of stuff. You know, we we way too into letting everybody else know so we can see how they feel about us. You know, forget y'all. I've had a lot of F y'all, F everybody moments uh, over the past three, four years. Actually, it really started in about 2016. <laughs> I've had a lot of, you know what, skip all y'all. What's my truth? Because if I listen too much to you guys, I, I'm a little confused about what this Christianity, Christianity thing is, what this church and kingdom thing is, what this gospel music industry thing is. If I listen to everybody else, I'll be confused because there's not one post I've ever posted that everybody agreed on. So what really matters for me right now in this season is what's my truth? What has God showed me? What has God taught me? So I can start to live that out. 
as opposed to finding just enough to post. You know, we're really supposed to kind of do this out of our overflow. We're really supposed to do public ministry and do all these posts and do all this other stuff out of overflow. Meaning we have enough to be full, enough to be whole, enough to be at peace, enough to show love, enough to feel loved even better, enough to feel loved. And then if we got some extra, let's write that song. If we got some extra, let's, let's give out some hugs and, and, and kisses and autographs. If we have some extra, now let me go and do my ministry out of the overflow, out of the abundance of how this truth has kept me and taught me and blessed me and favored me. But no, we like to jump ahead and we like to go ahead and get back to the giving out when we haven't even really been replenished or fulfilled ourselves. We haven't let the truth truly get on the inside of us before we start telling everybody about it. When you tell everybody about it, you put yourself back in the public sphere. Now you're going to have to deal with a whole bunch of warfare that you really weren't full enough for. You keep, you keep trying to give love to other people and you really weren't loved enough for it. I'm preaching now. <laughs> you out there trying to give out love when you don't feel loved enough yet yourself. So this is my truth. And to be honest, I don't care how you feel about it. Because right now, 20, uh, uh, in 2023, this is what I've seen. This is what I believe is true. This is how I'm approaching life now for me. And though it's my job to make music, it is not my job to give out the last of me. It's not even really my job to give out the best of me, even though that's what we feel like we have to do all the time. You don't know how many times I've sat in the airport or at a store and I've been feeling terrible, physically, emotionally, um, spiritually. And people walk up to me and they expect the best out of me at the drop of a dime, no matter what I'm wearing, no matter how I'm smelling, <laughs> no matter how I'm feeling, no matter where I am in my relationship with God, no matter where I am in my relationship with myself. And I have to pull out the best of me. I got to try for this picture, for this FaceTime or for whatever, or else they'll walk away feeling like I was me or I wasn't me. I was a fraud. Whoever John McGrones we thought he was, he ain't. Because when I saw him at 7 a.m. at gate A49, he didn't look like he wanted to talk to me. That's kind of how it is when your life is so turned towards public ministry. And here's the crazy thing. A lot of people, a lot of you, your life isn't yet turned towards public ministry and you still act like it. You still use your Instagram, your Twitter, your F Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat as such a platform for you to get your truth out. I bet you would handle it better and you present it better if you really let your truth permeate your own brain and heart. So this is my truth. This era is my truth. <clears throat> you know, maybe, maybe I'm more innocent than you think I am. Maybe I'm less innocent than you think I am. Maybe I'm more holy and saved than you would ever have thought. And maybe I'm a little more worldly than you ever thought. I don't know. This, this goes beyond projections. This is just my truth. 
This goes beyond what I think I should be saying. This is my truth. And not my truth like skip y'all's truth. But just my truth as Jonathan, start right at the top. Let's go back to, to the top of the song. Square one. Who are you? Who do you believe? What do you believe? And from that, we'll minister. From that, we'll talk. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a, my truth, you know, in a, um, in kind of the way that people do it culturally. Because they'll say it's my truth and then they immediately kind of want everybody to agree. <laughs> That's not... That's not the power of having your own truth. It's not for you to have something to scream louder. It's, it's for you to be able to live by, grow by, be comforted by, be at peace with. When you think about Jesus or when you see him argued in the public sphere, do you get angry because your truth is not being presented or your truth doesn't seem to be winning or are you comforted? Because you remember that your truth allows for a little persecution. It allows for some questions. It allows for people to not always rock with you. How on earth can our truth be such a controversial figure? Yet yeah, we don't understand controversy and we get scared of it. That's all I'm saying. I feel like the quick exchange of our personal truths to the public sphere is wearing us out. So this album is my truth. I don't know if um, gospel will love it. I don't know if R&B will love it. I don't know if these friends over here from Kojic will love it. I don't know if these friends over here, you know, from, from R&B world or hip-hop world will love it. It's my truth, though. So, here's a, here's a, um, here's a little bit of my truth. I'm a child of God first. I'm a child of God first. This is his world. I'm just living it. I'm not trying to control it. It'd be dope if I change it. But I don't, I don't have to wake up every day trying to figure out how to do that either. What I do have to wake up figuring out how to do now is how I can just be a son of God. So that's a little bit of my truth. Mine. My be a little son, you know, like you, you know how you, you, you know, you deliver a baby and you kind of, you know, wrap it up and you put in some clothes and you put it in a stroller or something like that. Yeah, that right there, that that's a son. Mm -hmm. Or like the other type of, you know, when you go and and the, the son is out there and he's playing basketball and you know, dad's in the stands, you know, screaming and hoping that he scores. And if he don't score, he's ready to pick him up. Yeah, that's a son. And that's who I am. That's why. So I'm really excited about this new era of sonship. Because that is the essence of my truth right now. So I love y'all. Can't wait for you guys. Hey, thank y'all for everybody that voted for me for the Image Awards. I still believe you can um, vote for me uh, for Nettie. I see her, her, her name down there. She gets mad at me. You know what I'm saying? She wants me to tell everybody, yo, make sure you vote for the Image Awards. Vote for me. Vote for Kev on stage, too. That's my brother, and he deserves it. And he wants to win. We all want to win. Uh, but as, as dope as, and, and prolific as he's been, the fact that he's been nominated a couple times and hasn't gotten it yet, I mean, I'm a little disappointed. So if you don't even vote for me, go vote for Kev on stage. He's going to win this year, for sure. And if we both win, then uh, we promised that we would bring back the beef in even greater form. 
I have an idea of, I know where he lives and I always had an idea of renting out. There's a billboard on the way home, on the way to his house. If I could just rent that and said, I don't know, Jonathan's better than you, Kev, something like that, that would make me happy. That he would have to see that every time he went home. That's that's where I'm at if we get to this next level beef. That's what I'm talking about. So <laughs> make sure y'all vote. Um, uh, I think it's vote dot uh, NAACP Image Awards dot com or something like that. Um, if you if y'all got it, if y'all if anybody knows the site, just uh, do it and I'll I'll pin it up. But um, I'm really excited about it, man. I, I love y'all, and I've taken a little bit of a break. I've taken a little bit of um, a wusa, and even inside of it, I really life really lifed. Lost my grandmother. Um, and just a lot of other stuff, you know, praying for my dad's health as well, praying for my own health. Um, you know, just a lot of things, you know, um, growing up, living life. Um, but I believe I'm ready, not because I, I feel like in my own strength that I'm ready, but I feel like riding on the wings of just God's strength even more than ever in my life. I've always been strong. I've always had talent. I've always been gifted enough. I've always whatevered enough to um, to make it anyway. Uh, but at this point, I'm really excited that uh, that God is is really strong, and so I don't have to be. Matter of fact, that's another song on this album called "Strong Is Overrated." So I can't wait for y'all to hear this. This is, this is good stuff, man. It's good stuff. It's, I ain't playing around with life no more, you know. And uh, um. This album I'm going to listen to. And I'm going to listen back to all my other albums too. Because, you know, I've been saying some good stuff that I I gave out probably a little quicker than I should have. And I didn't absorb it all. And so that's my mom, man. And I, and I, I just love y'all because y'all been, y'all been rocking with me. We're about to turn up, but not in the same way. Like, y'all about to watch me do less and more at the same time. Uh, we're going to let God carry his weight. I don't know why. I, 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 know, I don't know why I kept carrying it, thinking he couldn't. But I already know from the last few days. He's strong. You know? So I love y'all. Can't wait to see you. I told you. I said it in that, that post with my straight jacket that if I found God in a different way in this season, this next month, which which was last month, if I found him in a new way, I would be dancing all tour. But let me tell you, I always knew him as planner. I always knew him as blesser. I knew him as even a way maker. But now I know him as dad. We about to dance. All right. I love y'all so much. God bless you. See you soon. Vote. Pre-order. Listen to detail. Listen to uh, your world. I'm going to start coming around this country soon. Chicago is first. We're going to hit New York and Nashville and everything in between for this promo tour. And we'll see what happens when the record comes out, February 17th. All right? I love you all so much. Take it easy.